Hi, my name is Lesia and you're watching a tutorial on hand joints template. Hand joints template shows how to utilize 25 joints available with Lens Studio hand tracking. With it, you can create triggers from custom hand gestures and attach different visual effects to parts of the hand. Let's take a look at hand joints that are available. Enable to pack joint scene objects to show them on the previous screen. As you can see, there are a number of joints on each finger and wrist. Underneath the hand tracking controller, there is a hand tracking scene object that contains the same joints but without anything attached. You can use it in this template to add your own effects or export to another Lens Studio project. Let's try attaching an image to a part of our hand, then showing and hiding it based on our gesture. First, I'll import some new textures from the asset library. I'll also create a screen image under the center joint. To attach a new texture to an image, just drag and drop it into the center joint in the inspector panel. I'll disable it for now. To use a hand trigger, we'll need a new scene object with a hand trigger script attached. Let's name it My Gesture. First, I'll add a reference to the gesture controller script in the advanced section. You can choose from one of available default hand gestures or add your own. Let's try making our own. I'll import my own preview image with the hand gestures that I want to capture. Or you can also just use webcam. Disable default gesture flag since we want to use our custom one. Tap preview panel while there is some hand gesture showing and its data will be printed out to the logger panel. Now copy the string to the hand gesture controller script. You can pick any name that is not in the library yet. Let's set our trigger object to use this gesture. To add trigger response, I am creating a new child with a behavior script attached to it. Select on custom trigger and let's come up with a name for our trigger. On search response, I wanted to enable the screen image that we added before. Now copy it back to my gesture object. And it works! We can also add an end response to hide images when the gesture is no longer tracked. I'll duplicate the on start object with behavior script. And now let's update our custom trigger name and copy it back to my gesture object. Now change action to disable.
Looks like our lens is ready. Previewing lens in your Snapchat is super simple. Just click Preview in Snapchat in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Send Lens to Device button. For information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. That's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching and as always, have fun creating!